Hello and welcome to the 80th video in this series program HS Engine in C. So quite a bit to cover in this video because we're going to start adding in some evaluation using our masks. But before we do that, I've added a function which I'm not going to go through in this series, which you don't need in your code, but it's called mirror eval test. And all it does is it runs through a file of positions which I have on the computer, which is about 16 megabytes. It's 160,000 positions, which are here, or 167,000 positions. And all it does, the function, is take each position, evaluate it, mirror the board, evaluate, and check that the scores are the same. And if they aren't, then it breaks out of the function and prints this position then to the board so that you can then, or I can then, have a look at why the, the evaluation isn't symmetrical and remove the bug. And every thousand positions it prints how many, up to that point, positions it's actually gone through. So I'm not going to talk about that function, you can have a look, I'll put it in the code download. Mirror EPD, I won't put in the code download, there's no point, it's too big. Um, but I'll leave this code in anyway. And of course I've added then this mirror eval test into devs.h somewhere as well in, inside the validate section. Can't find it, here it is obviously as well, so it can be called externally. The next thing I've done is inside our console mode, I've, I can't remember exactly what I had at the end of the last video, but mirror now calls this evaluation test on mirror.epd. I've added in a command called eval, which then prints out the evaluation of the position, mirrors it and prints out the evaluation. And I've added exactly the same as in export mode, in the export loop, a set board command as well, which I've then added into the help here as well. So if I just make vice now, and then run vice and run into console mode and type mirror, you can see here it's quickly gone through all of the positions and as expected as one would hope everything's okay and symmetrical because the only thing we're doing in our evaluation is the p-square tables and it would be pretty bad if we were in a situation where they were incorrect. So at the top of evaluation I've added in a penalty of minus 10 so 0 0.1 of a pawn if a pawn is isolated on the board. I've then added in bonuses for a pass pawn and index these by rank. So if it's on starting rank for white, it's a five hundredths of a pawn, going all the way up to a whole pawn in value if it's on the seventh rank. The eighth has a score but will never be used, obviously, because it promotes to a different piece by the time it's up there. So the other thing I've added is rook open file, giving five hundredths of a pawn as well, but we're using that in the next video. So I want to concentrate on these two for this video and how we actually score the white pawn in this way. Well, it's actually really, really simple because we use bit boards and we've already set up our masks for doing this. So I'll put the first one in to talk through it because the other three are very similar. You remember that our isolated pawn mask looked like so, and I'm not going to do 64 squares, I'm going to do 9. But if we had this situation where we had a pawn here, and this is our board, and the pawn is on X, if it's isolated, then if we take our white pawns and and it with this kind of mask, then the result will be zero. And that means the pawn is isolated, there's no pawn on a neighboring file. And that is exactly what we do here. We take our mask at our 64 based square, remember, coming from this one here is 120, so we need to convert it into 64. We and it with our bit board, our mask, and if the result is zero, then the pawn is isolated. We print that to the screen, and we add the score for pawn isolated, which is actually a penalty because it's minus 10. And we do then exactly the same thing for black as well, down on the black pawns, except here we're ending obviously with black, and this time we do minus equals the score because black wants the score to be more negative. And obviously it makes it more positive because we're minusing minus 10, which effectively adds minus 10. And the story for pass pawns is exactly the same then. If I take the black pass pawn, remember we had our past mask, so now I simply and our past mask with the white pawns on the board for black, and that means that if that's zero, then there are no pawns ahead of the black pawn to prevent it promoting, so it's a passer. And the only tricky thing for black here is you have to do 7 minus the rank, because remember, up here the scores are indexed by rank from 0 to 7 here, 
but of course black pawns go down the board, not up the board. So if we did it by purely by the rank without seven minus the rank, we would peen, we would get lower and lower scores as the pawn advances, and we don't want that. For white, however, the story is absolutely normal. It's indexed by rank in this way. So we bitwise and the passed mask with black pawns, and if that's zero, then we know the pawn is passed, and we just use the straight rank as the score index, and that's all there is to it. So if we have a look, say, at this position in Arena, and I'll just copy this to the clipboard, and I'll just quickly make and check everything's okay here, and then go vice and vice and set board and paste in the position. And now let's call eval and have a look. So in this position here, we can see that the pawn on f2 is isolated, the pawn on e5 is isolated, the pawn on b7 is isolated, and the pawn on h7 here is actually a passed pawn. And indeed we've got white pawn isolated on f2, Black pawn isolated on e5 and b7, and a pass on h7 with a score of minus 20. And if we look at the mirror of the position, you can see that this position here is an exact mirror of the position shown in arena here. So we've got the isolated b2 and h2, which is the b7, and f7 here, and then, sorry, We've got the isolated b2, which is the b7, and the passed on h2, which is the, now the h, which was the h7, iso e4, which was the e5, and isolated f7, which is now the f2, and the same score minus 20, with black to move, and before it was white to move. So everything looks to be working okay there. I'll just quit vice, and we can now run very quickly our, as a last little thing our debugging check in here. I'm just going to comment out the printing of the pawns we found here to the console because we don't that, want that for every position so I'll just call make again and run vice and vice and now I can run mirror and you can see it's running through all of the positions okay so we can be fairly sure that we've not typed some bug in here getting the color wrong or an add instead of a plus instead of a minus or something like that the position assessments are still completely symmetrical which is what we require. Okay then so Vice has a little bit of poor infrastructure evaluation now. In the next video before I want to play any more games I'm going to add a little bit of structure evaluation onto the rooks and the queens for some open files and then maybe we'll have a look at a couple more games. So thanks very much for watching. Comments, questions, criticisms welcome as always on YouTube.